What's my second favorite thing after coffee? Food. What's up guys? So today I'm in San Francisco. Wait, where the fuck are my sunglasses? What the hell? Oh. Okay, this lady's staring at me. I had this bright idea that was slightly inspired by BuzzFeed because I feel like this is something that they would do. This lady needs to get her eyes off of me. I literally can't film anymore. Turn left onto Noriega Street. I'm already here! She's totally staring at me. Just because you're wearing sunglasses doesn't mean I can't see your eyes. Okay, so I'm in San Francisco today because I had this bright idea and she's back staring at me. Okay, do you know what? I'm annoyed now. This is my privacy. I'm just gonna act like I'm on the phone because that makes things less awkward, you know? Cause then it looks like I'm like doing something. Oh, maybe she can hear me. Do you think she can hear me? So I had the bright idea to come to San Francisco today and try three Instagram famous as f foods. I've never tried any of them. And I always see people posting at these specific three locations, getting specific items off the menu. And I was like, do you know what? I thought it would be kind of fun to just go around and enjoy three Instagram Bay Foods. You know what I'm saying? It would just be fun. It would give me something to post on Instagram too. And yeah, so that's what we're doing today. So this is definitely something I feel like BuzzFeed would do. I'm not sure if they've done something exactly like it before. I'm channeling my inner food critic today and we're gonna have a good ass time. First location we're going to today is called Home Cafe in the Sunset District of San Francisco. Their famous food item is like the birthday cake latte. I'll insert a photo. Basically, everybody gets these and posts them on Instagram because they're so cute or whatever. And I've lived in this area for like my entire life, but I've never been here before. As you guys know, I am a coffee connoisseur. I love coffee, but I only like iced almond milk lattes. That's the only drink that I get. So this will be a little bit interesting. A birthday cake latte, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it. It could really go either way. I could either love it or hate it because like, I like ice drinks and this is a hot drink so that's like the first error I also don't really like sweet coffee drinks so if it's too overpowering I'm probably gonna hate it but we'll see I'm really pumped because it looks super good like it looks so cute so I'm walking to it right now and it's in a super chill location like no one is around here at all it's like a ghost town a little bit which is always creepy but I don't judge when you're in the city and it's like super crowded. I always get really anxious So five stars for the location because it's in a super chill location and that's a plus thumbs up Okay, well haven't even tried the coffee yet though. So that's kind of the important part. Okay update I'm getting a little bit closer to the actual cafe and I don't really like this area. I don't know But that's okay because it's all about the coffee itself But yeah, I take back what I said earlier about it being cute. It is definitely chill but like uh, I feel like sketchy. I don't know something about this area I feel like I'm gonna get like kidnapped. I don't know. Put your head on my shoulder. Hold me in your arms. So let's give a full comprehensive review, as Casey Nice would say. First, let's discuss. Instagram ability because that's the whole point of this freaking video definitely artsy as hell I took this picture and it's definitely artsy definitely goals the latte art is the whole point of it basically I mean like the flavor is good for sure. It actually tastes really good I got it with almond milk instead of regular milk and it tasted really good it tasted more like a hazelnut vanilla latte Rather than like birthday cake cake batter if that makes sense It doesn't actually taste like cake. It wasn't too sweet, which was really good It was like a pleasant amount of sweetness. It wasn't too hot when she gave it to me So like I could drink it immediately, which is a thumbs up. Also, to make it even better, the inside is actually really nice too. Like the actual like decor and stuff. People in there were nice, but I did have trouble finding a seat in the beginning and then I had to like share a table with some lady that I didn't know and she didn't really seem too excited to share a table with me. But I was like, uh, we gotta do something here. A lot of people on their computers, you know, working hard, but there's this little sign that says like this table, like you can't use laptops at this table, which I thought was kind of funny, like because they want you to enjoy each other's company, which I think is kind of cute, I guess. Kind of a cute gesture, you know. I would rate it a 9 out of 10. The only reason why I would dock a point is just because this area, although it's chill and stuff, it's just kind of a boring area. There's not much really going on around here, so it's like if you went to this cafe, it's not like you could like go somewhere else after and like have a lit ass time, you know? <laughs> we're going to is called The Mill. It's on Divisadero Street, I believe. The Mill is basically like a coffee place that has famous avocado toast. And you might be like, everywhere sells avocado toast. And you'd be right. But what makes their avocado toast different is that they make their own bread. So like it's homemade bread that they make in that literal like cafe like they make the bread in the cafe and it's also just a super dope like location like really cool I've actually been there before for coffee but I've never been there before for this avocado toast because unpopular opinion here I'm not a huge avocado person 
mostly because I'm a picky eater and like I just don't really like I don't know like avocado kind of freaks me out a little bit you feel me but despite my kind of like fear of avocados I'm gonna get the avocado toast today I have a feeling I'm gonna like it I mean everyone likes avocado toast like everybody and their mom and I've like never tried it before so that's where we're going next this is definitely a cute area for sure for sure way cuter than the last area I'd say oh my god sorry really windy very windy extremely windy this place has a really cute aesthetic so <laughs> I hate that word but it's true. It's really cute. There's like this outdoor sitting area. Oh, look how cute. review. Okay, overall, I was pretty impressed with this experience. It was quite pricey, though. Like, that avocado toast was $8. The look of the place, very artsy, very dope. I like it a lot. They had nice wood tables. They had a few marble tables, which were taken, so I couldn't use those, which is depressing, because marble tables look really good in Instagram photos for food and stuff. But anyways, either way, now let's talk about the flavors. Coffee, not the best I've had, to be completely honest. It was good. Don't get me wrong. It was good. But it wasn't the best I've had. It was kind of bitter, a little bit, maybe, kind of sour. Supposedly, they have homemade almond milk which is really cool I couldn't really tell but like that's cool now the toast it was my first time ever having avocado toast it was definitely good only issue with this one specifically was that there was like some avocado like strings in it do you know what I'm talking about like avocado like fibers Ugh. I don't know but that just like really grosses me out like you know when there's like little strings in the avocado on the avocado something got strings in my food and like fibers in my food really fucking grosses me out it didn't taste gross but it's just like there's a little bit of that the avocado was kind of brown like it wasn't super green which is okay but not as like aesthetically pleasing if that makes sense i, I don't judge you know because the flavor was actually really good the actual bread part was unreal because it's homemade right i mean like my teeth just sunk into that like there's no tomorrow it was unbelievable it was so freaking good i was ecstatic i'm not even a huge avocado fan and i still like Liked it so like if you liked avocado like you would definitely die for that yeah I would rate the entire experience in 8 out of 10 the avocado was kind of brown but it was still really artsy and I took this picture and it looks pretty freaking good actually I'd say an 8.5 out of 10 thumbs up for the mill good place cool vibes good vibes dope vibes <laughs> Yeah. We're going to buy right ice cream, which is like the most famous ice cream place in San Francisco people freaking love it there It's like just a fucking family fave a lot of people like it and it's really close to the last place I was at coincidentally they're famous for like their kind of like cool ice cream flavors like cheesecake and I don't even know but regular ice cream gives me tummy troubles I'm not lactose intolerant, but like milk just does not agree with me at all You know, it's just not meant for my body. So I'm gonna get the vegan ice cream from there I think they have one flavor. It's like chocolate coconut ice cream made with coconut milk instead of regular milk A lot of people take pictures there. It's like a huge fam favorite. You know what I mean? Everyone goes there I feel like to go back to the car to try this one because they don't have any seats in there so that's something to consider I have the ice cream and I already tried a little bit of it and it's really good but I'm gonna eat more it tastes really good maybe a little bit less creamy than regular ice cream but it's still pretty creamy super rich chocolate flavor definitely a fan they had another vegan flavor too I think it was a sorbet but I'm more of a chocolate person than like sorbet you know I just dropped some of it on my white pants that's a mess sometimes chocolate ice cream can just taste like water and this is good stuff even though I've always been a vanilla kind of girl but this is Looking good as hell and taste and everything I give it a 10 out of 10 but here's where the issue is it's cute in there don't get me wrong but it's not really like Instagram worthy like this just looks like basic chocolate ice cream you know what I mean so I give this overall a 6 out of 10 because this whole point of today is trying Instagram foods you know places that are super insta goals right the food itself is not that Instagram worthy especially compared to the other two things that we've experienced today at the end of the day if you want a good scoop of ice cream I'd say this is a good place also it's like connected to a grocery store that like takes away from like the potential cuteness does that make sense and the guy in there was really nice which always helps Ew, my tongue's like brown. Honestly, I'd say all those places were good. Even though the last one wasn't really Instagram goals, I didn't even take a picture of my ice cream. I just started eating it because I just got no inspo, you know? I wasn't inspired by the location. All of the places were really good. And if you're in San Francisco, I'd say for sure check it out. I literally drank so many coffees today. I had, okay, wait, I only had two. Actually, no, I had three. I had two on screen, but then I had one off screen when no one was looking. I need to like go home and calm down after that. Three coffees in the span of like two hours is definitely a lot for me. I've been trying to cut down on the caffeine, you know, trying not to 
drink as much coffee uh, or at least get decaf but I've been failing miserably but this is not relating to the video anyway that's it for today's video I hope you enjoyed if you had fun you like this smash the thumbs up button give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel comment down below anything you want love you all appreciate you all and I'll see you next time <gasps> Thank you.